On Washington Unplugged, EU Ambassador John Bruton. Our roundtable looks at President Obama's trip to Europe and cartoonist Tom Tolles. Hello, this is Washington Unplugged. I'm John Dickerson, in for Bob Schieffer. Next week, President Obama takes his first big foreign trip. He'll visit five countries in eight days, attend the G20 summit, a NATO conference, and meet with the European Union. He's personally popular, but his policies on global stimulus and, Af and Afghanistan are being openly resisted. What kind of reception will he get? I'm joined by European Union Ambassador John Bruton, also the Prime Minister, former Prime Minister of Ireland. Welcome. Thanks, I want to ask you this morning about Afghanistan. You were at the White House. What did you hear? What's your reaction to the President's new plan? Well, I heard clearly that the target is to ensure that Al-Qaeda and terrorism do not prosper in either Afghanistan or in Pakistan, and that the goal is to ensure that that doesn't happen. There isn't perhaps the same ambition in terms of state building and so forth that we might have heard, democracy promotion that we might have heard before, but a determination at the same time to stand behind the duly elected governments of Pakistan and of Afghanistan. Clearly a call for assistance from the rest of the world, from Europe, which will be forthcoming from Europe, to do on the civilian side what's been done on the military side by primarily US troops. But just the civilian side, no, no troops. There may be some additional <laughs> troops for some purposes, particularly training was mentioned mm -hmm. by President Obama, and I have no doubt that we would be willing to provide training for the Afghan army and the Afghan police. The development of the Afghan police is very, very important. W the president said uh, in his remarks, the safety of the people around the world is at stake. That's a pretty broad statement. What's your sense of that? Well, he backed that up by pointing out to a number of terrorist atrocities in Asia and in Europe, which are linked back to Al-Qaeda, which is based on the Afghan-Pakistan border. And clearly, this is a problem for everybody. Uh, there have been differences in the past as exactly as to exactly which particular means we should use mm -hmm. to deal with it. But there is nobody who will question the President's statement that this terrorist nest represents a problem for the entire world. So this will be well received in Europe? Yes, and he emphasized yes. that the vast majority of the victims of Al-Qaeda have been Muslims. Now, next week we have this extraordinary trip. The President is taking a lot on his plate. How will he be received broadly uh, when he comes to Europe? Very well. I think Europeans have agreed themselves that they should, that we should stimulate our economy and m a number of European countries, those that can afford to do so, have already put stimulus plans in place mm -hmm. and we support the stimulus that's been given by the United States and by China. We also support the efforts that are being taken to recapitalize the banks in Europe. We're doing it by many cases by nationalization. Here in the United States it's been done by other methods and also to remove the toxic assets. That those assets have to be valued and removed from the system so that the financial system can breathe again. There has been some resistance though in France and Germany on the question of stimulus and then we of course had the former Czech uh, Prime Minister saying that the stimulus package was a way to hell. W there is though some friction on this question of Well there are different, I mean, we have a stability and growth pact to govern the euro which mm -hmm. imposes very strict limitations on mm -hmm. borrowing. Mm -hmm. Uh, which in normal times are absolutely reasonable, but we're not in normal times. But people are having to get used to mm -hmm. changing policy very rapidly because the situation is changing very rapidly. Some European countries, notably Germany, have been prepared to go quite far in mm -hmm. promoting stimulus. Others, for reasons concerned with the aging of their own populations or their own fiscal positions, are a little bit more cautious. How will uh, we know that this has been a success, this vi visit? What's plausible here and, and what's the best outcome of this visit? I think we're going to see, coming from this, commitment to better regulation of the financial system, commitment to substantial increases in funds for the IMF. Because if governments are going to take on the debts of banks, mm -hmm. who's going to look after the finances of governments? There has to be somebody to stand behind mm -hmm. governments. And the IMF needs more funds so that if governments get into difficulty, they too can get assistance to be tied it over. You were here during the Bush administration, now you see the new team in town. What are the differences? What have you noticed in the differences? Well, I think there's a willingness to confront unpleasant facts that's notable in this administration. I was particularly heartened, for example, by what Secretary of State Clinton had to say in the last two days about the extent to which consumption of drugs 
by Americans, and mm -hmm. she could have said Europeans as well, is contributing to the problems of law and order in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, and that we must take our responsibility as societies which are consuming illegal drugs for the destabilization that is resulting in countries like Colombia and in Mexico. And I think that will be very much welcomed by people in Latin America who are very good partners of ours and whom we must assist in every way. Excellent. Ambassador John Bruton, thank you very much. You're watching Washington Unplugged on CBSNews.com.